the National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with the Educational Television and Radio Center, presents... The subject is... Jazz. Gilbert Seldes. This program, Jazz Today. Critic and chronicler of the lively arts, Gilbert Seldes. By the title Jazz Today, we hardly mean that in this half hour we'll present and discuss all the ways in which jazz is played all over the world at this moment. We mean something more modest. In past programs of this series, our musicians have frequently recreated earlier jazz styles. They're accomplished and versatile enough to do this. So we have presented what you might call reasonable facsimiles of the many ways in which jazz has been played. Today, our musicians will play as they think jazz should be played, in their individual styles as soloists, and in this first number, as a group. One of the ways in which jazz constantly transforms itself is by inventing or absorbing new instruments. Perhaps the most versatile of the lot is the guitar, which supplanted the banjo. Our master of the guitar is Mundell Lowe, and the first question, Mundell, is, is the guitar always electrified? No, it isn't, Gilbert. Uh, it depends on what you want to do with it. For instance, uh, if you want to get a smaller sound, it's played without the electric. If you want to get a bigger sound, you add the electric. Yes. Uh, is it difficult to learn either simply or electric? Well, it's difficult because in this country and in the development of the guitar, there's no set school for learning it. Like. The piano has a classical background. There's a certain way that you study the piano. Well, it's not true with the guitar, so that you have to go about it in your own way, and sometimes it gets pretty hazardous. And uh, uh, can you, well, is it as fixed as the piano as regard to where the notes are that you play? No. For instance, uh, there's one key on the piano where you find middle C. Now, on the guitar, yeah. there are three spots. Well, actually, four spots. Here, 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 and here. So and which one, uh, how do you know which one to play? Well, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it, I suppose, rather difficult. On the other hand, it is extraordinarily versatile, I know, and you yourself have played it in many different ways, haven't you? There are many ways to play it. You can play it in a rhythm section as a rhythm instrument. Uh, you can use it as uh, with a solo instrument, like another horn, for instance, mm -hmm. or you can use it just as an accompanying oh. instrument are many ways. That's pretty good. Now, in this next number, we're not only going to hear the <coughs> guitar, which we featured, but the instrument which looks clumsy and yet delivers such beautiful sounds, namely the bass violin. Now, this is generally used merely to emphasize a beat. In this number, it provides actually a melodic background as well. And it's played by Earl May, a member of Billy Taylor's trio, which becomes a quartet with the addition of Mundell Lowe to play Q Blue. <laughs> 